welcome back to my channel. So today we have a video that has been requested for quite some weeks since this was announced, it was coming out. It is my first impressions and review of the brand new fragrance from Valentino, Voce Viva, uh, with of course Lady Gaga as the face of the fragrance, very exciting. Um, so I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on this. If you're new here, then welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of other perfume videos, so do check them all out. And if you are a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button. Show your support. I really appreciate it. Join our little perfume community. And as always, I will leave links down below to where you can get this in the UK, Europe, US, Australia, Canada, if it's available there because it's a brand new um, perfume. So Valentino, of course, have had perfumes out for quite a while now, not as long as some of the other houses, um, but quite a while. And I, in general, am quite a fan of them. I really like the Valentina range of perfumes. I've done a whole video on that. And the, you know, new release Born in Roma from their sort of Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette range, really nice as well. Always excited to see what they're gonna release next. And then of course with Lady Gaga being the face of the fragrance, um, I'm a huge Lady Gaga fan. I love her. I know she's actually had her own fragrance out, Fame, a while ago and that ended. I think that really raised my expectations for this perfume because she's obviously has a very unique style and I thought she's not gonna put her name to a perfume if it's like really boring and ordinary. So I was super excited to try it. So what I have here is the 30ml, the 30ml, and it's quite different in appearance to the other um, Valentino perfumes we have already, which are all quite pretty and feminine. This one I'd say is a bit more hardcore, it's not sort of pretty, it's obviously not pink, it has this fiery red packaging, it's almost like a raspberry red. And then of course it has the Valentino signature studs on, which are um, made famous on their handbags, on their shoes, their best-selling shoes. And um, so it sort of has that echo of that. And I find that these Valentino studs on their handbag shoes accessories are quite like, I don't know what the word is. It's like very boss girl, you know, it's not pretty. I mean, they're spiky studs, right? So it's like, you don't wanna mess with someone with, with those on. I have to say, what it does mean though is when you take the bottle off, it's kind of, when you take the bottle off, when you take the lid off, it's kind of spiky. So you obviously have to like hold tight to pull it off and you're pushing on, you're holding those spikes. I mean, you know, it's not painful, they're not sh sharp, but it's annoying in my opinion. I don't, I don't love that feature. So the liquid is slightly creamy coloured and we have the Valentino logo on the front. So the most important part, what does it smell like? So this, I don't know what I was expecting to be honest. My overall impressions is that this is a good fragrance and that it's quite a sexy womanly fragrance. So the main note that you get here is vanilla. So it's quite sweet, but it's not sweet in a sugary, girly way. It's sweet in a warm vanilla way, kind of a bit like Armani C. But what it also has is um, a good amount of orange blossom in. So I'd say, the smell is like half sweet, half floral. And then after a while, you start getting some tonka bean as well. Now I was wearing this all day yesterday and I did find that it lasted well. I could really smell it on me the first few hours and even five, six hours later, I could still smell it and I only used one spray. So it is good for lasting and I think the projection on this is going to be good as well. Especially if you do a couple of sprays, you're really going to be able to smell it on people. So my prediction is that this will do very well. I think because it has that longevity and that lasting power, if you wear it, people will comment on it. People will be able to smell it, which will make people, you know, repurchase it and it can become your signature scent. I this I think the smell is a very typical smell of the kind of perfumes we've seen released this year and in the past few years. So the vanilla is very reminiscent of um, Le Vie Belle and the sort of Armani C range, it's that type of vanilla. And then the orange blossom is kind of like an Ellie Saab and very much like, I think, at Giorgio Armani's My Way, their new release that just came out. Uh, this one, I've done a whole video on this. Now this is all 
this is all floral there's no this isn't sweet at all but th this is like if you took the VA Bell and mixed it with this this is what you'd get in my opinion it's definitely um, got a bit of a, a power to it. I'd call it like a power fragrance. So you wouldn't really wear this. I'm not sure about wearing this to work and not that anyone seems goes into the office anymore in hashtag COVID life. Um, you know, I'd say this is more a night out, a date night, or, you know, wear it during the day, but be conscious that people are going to be smelling you and it has got that sexiness to it. So, you know, if you're a doctor or something, it's probably not that appropriate to be wearing this. Um, but if you're not and you have, I don't know, you're just wandering around town, going shopping, whatever, then of course, um, totally appropriate. But it does have that element to it. I think this will be really loved by people that go out, you know, clubbing bars it's that it's really good i think if you were going on a date and you wore this it would have a really good effect you know the person would be able to smell it so i do think it will do well in that respect with it being lady gaga i was kind of expecting it to be something really left field like a main note that we haven't seen anywhere else or something just really different and unusual um that's not what this is it is ma a mainstream smell but because of that lasting power and it has that like power to it, um, you know, it means business. I think it works with Lady Gaga because I can imagine she doesn't wear, I can imagine her wearing this. She, she's not the kind of person that's gonna wear something light and, and fruity and something that fades after an hour or something. You know, she's not a Marc Jacobs Daisy. She's not a Chanel Chance, right? So I do think it does fit with her in that respect. The ingredients say it has orange and bergamot in. I couldn't really get any citrus from this. I got the vanilla straight away. It also says it has oak moss and ginger. Didn't get that. It says it has a muskiness to it. Maybe I get that a little bit, but I'm getting the orange blossom and the vanilla as the main notes, guys. So in terms of what it says about it, the branding, the marketing, which of course is kind of half the fun, the name, well, on the website, it says my voice, my strength. A celebration of individual essence but in google translate tells me it means live voice so i'm not entirely sure what it means if you're italian or perhaps you know let, let me know down in the comments what it properly means but it says born born to voice the maison's values of diversity and individuality voce viva fragrance comes alive in a dialogue between lady gaga and pier paolo piccioli I assume that he or she is a, a designer at Valentino. Composed of colour, couture and coolness, the essence let each woman radiate. There's a spelling, that's a typo. The essence lets, it should be each woman radiate with energy of fulfilment and confidence. Okay, I don't understand that whole paragraph at all. So I'm not loving the marketing so far on the website. It says, then says the sleek glass bottle inspired by a couture silhouette. Would you want your silhouette to look like this? Like a square? Interesting. Maybe it's the bit that goes in at the side. There's some bits in at the side. So that's like a silhouette, I guess. <laughs> um, is topped with a cap enriched by iconic rock stud details illuminating its distinctive character, a V of light shines through the golden hued scent. Huh. And then interestingly, the way it describes the fragrance is the fragrance radiates notes of sparkling Calabrian, bergamot, encountering mandarin and ginger essences. Well, I didn't get any of those three notes. While a blooming bouquet of white flowers forms the heart of the perfume, yes. Crystal moss and vanilla finish it off with evoking woodsy feelings. So that's not how I would describe it at all. The vanilla doesn't finish it off, the vanilla is a main note. Um, so don't believe everything you read on these perfume descriptions on their website, guys. <laughs> but yeah, so overall, impressed. Think it will do really well. Think it will last and be around for a long time. It's definitely not just, you know, another one that you forget about really quickly. Um, so overall, a, a good release. Um, check it out. Let, let me know, guys, if you've tried this, what do you think of it? I think if you like your vanillas, you like the VA Bell, you like Orange Blossom, then I would think it might be quite safe as a blind buy. I know a lot of people are doing blind buys at the moment because it's, um, with COVID, it's not that easy to smell testers. So I think, you know, if you want that kind of perfume, then I think you'd probably like this. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. But that's it, guys. So thanks so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.